of the world. In New Mexico, researchers are working on a way to stop Ebola in its tracks. Action 7 News reporter Laura Train spoke to one of them. She joins us live from the University of New Mexico to tell us how close they are to creating the vaccine. And Doug, the doctor I spoke to has been working on a vaccine for Ebola for years. Here at UNM, he tests on mice in hopes that one day a similar treatment can work on humans. In a University of New Mexico laboratory, Dr. Stephen Bradfute is trying to discover a vaccine for the deadly Ebola virus. He and other scientists are getting close, but they're not there yet. So there's several vaccines that are effective in monkeys, and they haven't. They're just now starting to test them in humans. Bradfute has spent seven years trying to land a big Ebola breakthrough. In that short amount of time, fears the disease would spread from Africa to U.S. cities have become reality. Just yesterday, a patient died of Ebola in Dallas, Texas. Two other Americans are currently hospitalized. It's different now with uh, you know increased travel, and it's much more of a you know it's easy to get across the world really quickly. And that's why Dr. Bradfute says a vaccine is so vital. So this is what Ebola looks like. And what Dr. Bradfute is trying to do is change a piece of the virus in order to generate a vaccine that will stop it from spreading into your body's cells. It blocks the ability of the virus to make you sick. Right now, he says there's no word if the patients being treated for Ebola in America will receive the vaccine scientists have created. None of the treatments have undergone extensive human testing yet. And his findings will be published in medical journals. Then hundreds of other scientists who are also trying to discover a vaccine for Ebola will compare their findings to his work. Live at UNM, Laura Terrain, KOAT Action 7 News. New surveillance video.